You know, here in Colorado, we certainly love our pets, and losing one can be devastating. And tonight, we have a Contact 7 consumer alert for you. After a woman used a popular dog-sitting app called Rover and wound up never seeing her dog again, here is Denver 7's Jackie Crea. Got along with cats and dogs and people and just wanted nothing more than to sit in your lap. Elaine Connolly never got to say goodbye to her dachshund Wally. I mean, he was supposed to turn 10 next month. And I don't get those years now. While on vacation for the 4th of July, she used a popular dog sitting app, Rover. It allows dog owners to search and request pet sitters, a dog walk, even overnight care. The sitter Elaine used had watched both her dogs one time before. Two days into her vacation, though, she got a message from the sitter. Saying, sorry, uh, a mastiff completely mauled your dog and killed him instantly. Elaine says another dog, unbeknownst to her, was at the sitter's home and attacked Wally. He didn't need to be outside next, like, near a 150-pound dog. Since that day, she says she hasn't heard from the sitter and can't find Wally's remains after he was left at a pet hospital. As for Rover, Elaine says she still had to pay for their services, and since an initial email apologizing, nothing else has been done. After we reached out, the company's PR spokesperson tells us the company is distraught and has opened an investigation and remains committed to supporting Elaine. The sitter is no longer working with Rover. But that's a little too late for Elaine. She's pressing charges and is hiring an attorney. She hopes others learn from her tragedy. Truly, just like my entire like heart's been ripped out of my chest. Um, you can't replace 10 years of memories. I want them to be just held liable for their actions. They are falsely advertising to people. Jackie Crea, Denver 7. We also reached out to the sitter to hear her side of the story, but we have not heard back.